Mr. Montbrial, uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I am very pleased to be here uh, to participate together with you with, uh, in this uh, World Policy uh, Meeting in Morocco. Well, I was uh, uh, invited uh, to participate in the first uh, uh, World Policy uh, Meeting in Evian, France, last year. It was a very important, I, th I found, uh, meeting. Uh, there was the active participation of uh, different states of head, uh, heads of state from uh, different countries, including uh, uh, President of France, uh, Mr. Sarkozy, and uh, Russian President, Mr. Medvedev. And uh, uh, I found this world policy meeting uh, a very important one. Uh, before starting uh, uh, my uh, remarks about the world policy meeting, I just wanted to say to you that uh, I tried to hide the fact that I lost the election, but uh, Mr. Mombria disclosed it. <laughs> uh, I remember uh, about uh, hiding facts or uh, trying to uh, hide something and make it uh, a top secret. Uh, it just reminded me uh, uh, the um, event uh, which happened with me when I was trying to do something and I was told that th that was the top secret. Uh, in, in the late 90, 90s, I was invited to North Korea. At that time, I was the leader of opposition in Mongolia. And I was trying to meet with the uh, uh, North Korean leader, Kim Jong-il if I go there. So I met an ambassador of North Korea uh, in Ulaanbaatar and uh, uh, preparing for a visit, uh, we were trying to find the right gift uh, to Mr. Kim Jong-il. And we asked the ambassador what uh, sort of gift uh, uh, could be or should be, uh, should be suitable for uh, Mr. Kim Jong-il. And the ambassador advised us that maybe it should be a Mongolian leather coat. And then we asked the ambassador, uh, so we will try to make a leather coat for Mr. Kim Jong-il. So we need to s know his size. Then the North Korean ambassador told me that this is the classified information. <laughs> then we tried to persuade him to show someone who more or less resembles Mr. Kim Jong-il, a Mongolian. He found one. So we made a code for, and we took measures from that Mongolian person to make a top uh, class, uh, uh, a leather coat. But now we see Mr. Kim Jong-il meeting with uh, President Clinton and the other leaders uh, from South Korea also. So I think a lot has, uh, world has changed. Just 10 years ago, the North Korean ambassador was telling me that uh, the size of Kim Jong-il is top secret. Now we know how he looks like, what is his size. We hope that uh, North Korea will be much more open, not only the size of the leader, but the size of the country in terms of uh, people's life, living, will be known to the world, and the whole world will work together to seek North Koreans to overcome the difficulties they have. So I think this world policy meeting is also about disclosing top secrets, about uh, finding right information, try, trying to bring down false judgments we have about others trying to disclose the things we try to hide from each other. I think in this sense it's very necessary and very important. I think World Policy Meeting was uh, initiated by people who had vision for a better world, who are not happy with the situation we have today, but still have a big hope that there will be a lot of opportunities 
and we have to use these opportunities to make the world better than we have today. It means that we have to be engaged in world policy meetings, in world policy discussions. It means that we have to engage even North Koreans or others to come here to talk with us, to discuss with us whatever problem they have they, or they might have. Opening others for us, that is, I think, one of the goals of World Policy Meeting. And uh, not only being engaged, but also putting and joining our efforts together to solve the problems. And we know that there are a lot of big problems facing us. I think it's uh, also very important that the World Policy Meeting is a meeting where small countries like Mongolia could be heard. Because uh, we now see that uh, only big companies or big countries cannot solve all the problems. We have to be together, irrespective of our sizes, referring to the size of North Korean leader, that uh, we have to work together to make the world a better place. I think when you are engaging others or participating yourself in these sort of meetings, it also gives you an opportunity. It gives an opportunity to everybody, everybody who is present here that you are putting your efforts into something which is necessary, which need you, miss you, and you have to put your efforts to be sure that you understand the present world. I've just said at the beginning of my remarks, yes, I lost the election, and I was uh, <clears throat> uh, meeting uh, an Australian man, a new friend, and uh, just uh, the sign that uh, there is a president who lost the election is Mongolia, made Mongolia look better for him. <laughs> 